again this time something different this time it's 3d and 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 in motion almost like it's animated and let's get started so yeah I made my first animation this boy up uh, it's uploaded on the channel you could have saw it already if um <laughs> if well you could, you could have saw it you probably didn't one of you probably did one of you probably did but uh, that's about it that's up on the channel it was uploaded a few it was uploaded a day, day, day a day or two ago before i upload this because i, I want to separate actually this is not there are the works it's not there talks about there talks about sucks it's not, it's not that it's great there are the works so yeah well as you can see it's uh i mean my first animation my first 3d and 2d animation because that's 2d characters uh and i'm calling this series durani it's adjacent to the other works because the other works is about me working on stuff that's not necessarily video games and Durani is me actually producing uh actually producing animations anything that's animated goes in Durani uh, anything that anything that's me live commentating as I do th things that's your the other works whether it's playtesting or um or doing this where I explain something. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like that. Like I clip to the terrain there, but it works, I guess. But yeah, so actually, might as well finish it. It's only, it's just over. It's not even two minutes. Yeah, it's not even two minutes long for crying out loud. And from what I've learned, from what I learned on the channel, it. it from what I learned on the channel, oh, we, and, and then I did my classic outro. But you had to watch the real thing for that. But um. From what I learned in the channel, nothing does well. It may work for the rest of the people on the on on the internets, but it does not work for me. I must do lung stuff. Lung stuff actually has to be on my channel for some unknown reason. I really like this shot, hence why I put a camera here. But anyway, so that so it has like a so I made this because I wanted to get because I've always wanted to get to anim I always wanted to do a show with my uh, with my uh, Durverse as we're now calling it, but I always wanted to do a show with it. And yeah, I started out wanting to do machinima, that fell through for lack of actors, because you need actors to do machinima. You can't think you can do it by yourself, which is how Red vs. Blue got made, back in the days when it was actually machinima. Um, but, yeah, no, no, but for the stuff I wanted to do, I needed actors, and I wasn't yeah, I guess I had enough controls to do it anyway. Not enough accounts to have unique. Uh, not enough accounts to have unique armor. But yeah. And now it's and now uh, can you even do co up on PC with uh, with uh, with Messi Collection? I don't know. But yeah, so that fell through, and it would have forced me into a game anyway. Most say Halo 3, Reach, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, then, then I went on and went on, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't chase my dreams, as, as it were, until 2019, when I decided, for once, it, when I finally decided that, or I finally realized, let's be honest, when I finally realized I could just write a book. So I wrote a book. I published, I, I published a book. It's on Amazon now. If you want to, it's in links are in the description, and that and I finally got the Dearverse out there. I mean, I've been I've been hinting at it throughout the entirety of this channel's existence, but I just now gone. I, I just just now three years ago, got in something out, which was fantastic. That I started doing pixel art, based in the same setting as the first, based in the same time frame as the first book. As you know, Dearverse is. A three thousand year experience, a three thousand year setting, or a one thousand year setting. Uh, it goes from the year twenty, twenty, nineteen, or twenty, around twenty twenty, twenty 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 nineteen, ish, to the year three thousand. And the reason why I'm keeping my, 
my dear mini souls and their side souls and the first platform in the book. If it feels right to me, I don't want to cover the events of the book. I could. Uh, I could easily do that and I, I would feel more. And it will give me more artsy ideas to do it other than just doing holidays. Apparently is what I mainly use uh, their mini souls and side souls for. But uh, yeah, I, I could do events for the book. I could do... I could set it in other books I'm working on, which I which my 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 main roadmap for for the Dirtverse books is do go gold arrow do each golden arrow. Uh, so the golden arrows are, are the first golden arrow, which is just golden arrow, twenty around twenty uh, twenty forty is its midpoint, and then go jump over to the space golden arrow, which is five hundred years from now, more or less. It's, it's like a time for 100, 200, 300 years. I have to look at the timeline for that. That's not what this video is about anyway. And then do the early early era book, which is basically World War III, 2024 to 2025. And The Fall, which is a massive turning point. Yeah, I haven't worked on that yet. Started work on the sequel to the first book, Life and Life and War. I, have, I started work on the Space School in there, so I work on the early era. Both are around 100 pages right now. I'm like, making massive progress recently. Even with all the stuff I'm doing, and yeah, and also got some other books in the top, in the, in the pipeline, which are which are either related to Dur Durverse, which are called, uh, um, which are, which are spinoffs, or which are spinoffs will be in their own spinoff, uh, will be in their own spinoff uh, numbering system. Each numbering system is based on era, and then there'd be the released one too, of course. But yeah, you get you get the idea. So. So I've been doing the pixel arts based on based on my first book based in the same time frame as the first book in the same year 2040 or or around thereabouts not fur, not for, further than 2040 because the second book because the sequel is going to take place at right it's going to take place a few days after the events of the epilogue in Life and War and then we'll go on throughout the year 2040 and then go into 2041 probably. Uh, and then, yeah, this animation, uh, this animation is not really, it's not really canon, it relates more to the next thing I started working on, which is my games. Again, in 2020, I, work, I started working on my game. uh, actually 2019, yeah, 2019 is when I started working on everything, pixel art book and games and in 2020 is I just started working on mainly the games that mainly the games and pixel art for real and the game and and this animation is based on the development of the game this depicts more or less the first fight hence the name first battle let me show it actually you can't show it on the screen look back out uh first battle references this being how I started developing the game I had dirt line and had the bad guy you turn out to be Captain Red, and just develop the game from there. Just small thing about two about two guys about ten feet from each other shooting at each other, and just how it just developed with rolling dice on roll twenty. Because apparently that's how I develop tabletop games is just by rolling dice and seeing what happens, seeing what ideas come in my head. Uh, or doing doing the thing doing the basic generic thing you think of when you think of oh it's a tabletop war game RPG yeah as of course people think of that um which is sarcasm people don't think of that uh don't, don't think of them as one thing but roll dice and then do the whole um then when the card game and then when I started doing the card game just, just look at car was just imagine cards and imagine how they were working together and vice versa and uh, that was all in 2020. And now the animation, and now the animation, giving you the backstory to this animation. Now, now it's time for the animation's backstory. My word, my word, my word. Blender is hard. Blender is hard. Blender is very hard. Uh, and like there are people saying, like like, they, like someone made a video. I, I I think I have them in. I think I'm having them in this list. But someone made a video where, like, Blender, like, Blender is, like, is Blender hard? And they came to the conclusion, not compared to other, not compared to other CGI software. But man, is Blender hard compared to everything else? 
It's not hard compared to video editing. This is Vegas. Vegas is not hard. You can in the, you can get, learn Vegas. You can learn. You can just jump in Vegas and learn it. It's not that hard. Just put in video and then play it. If you if you use Windows Movie Maker, which does ship with Windows 10 and 11, I believe nowadays. There was a point where it didn't ship with it, but still use a basic video editor, which you may be on your phone these days, and then go and then you, you could use Vegas. Um. And like and then like the Apple one is even easier. Which I forgot the name of it, but apparently it's very popular. And then compared to Pixel Art, well, Pixel Art's really easy with the Pixel Art's even easier with a program like Acer Sprite or my or Gale Force or whatever it was, the, the free version, the free the free Pixel Art, which everyone starts with basically. Um, you could also use you could also use a friggin' You can also use like Affinity Designer or your your or your uh, or or your two D art maker of choice, and those are easy to learn too, for the most part. I mean, to be fair, Blender is harder than CAD, much harder than CAD, at least open source CADs. Uh, I still have not learned CAD. I still have not learned computer assisted design. Uh, I mostly just use Pixel Art now because it's easier. It's easiest. But compared to literally everything else, everything else I do, uh, game design, it's harder than RPG Maker. Uh, it's about on par with Unity, I gotta say. I gotta say it's on par with Unity. Unity might be a bit easier. I don't know. I haven't really messed around with Unity enough to figure it out. But my word is Blender hard. And the main thing about why Blender's hard is this is left click. Look, look, clicks on stuff. Sure, that's easy. What did I even click on? I clicked on. I clicked on a. I clicked on a light effect. Oh, is that like the entirety? Of the, that's the entirety of the light effect. I don't know. I mean, that's what I want anyway. That's fine. Uh, or is that what I want? Maybe I want it to be smaller. Like that should be bigger than thirty-three meters. But uh, apparently it's not because this, because this is thirty three meters. Up. I didn't realize they give you this stuff in the sun. Does the sun have one too? The sun does not have one. Um, let's see. That's easy. But then you, but then you, scroll wheel's fine. Red right click is fine. But uh, unlike most things where you can scroll around with, where you can move around with right click, no. What happens when you hit no mouse button? You do that. Let's center that back to where you can see everything. Like this is fine, but then you try to move. Oh, uh, arrow key. Arrow key adjust the frame. Arrow key adjust the keyframes. Okay. I hit WASD. I'm not going to actually hit WASD because I'm not going to touch any other keyboard because I don't use shortcuts. I don't plan to. I prefer everything on the screen. Uh, I, but you realize very soon that Blender cannot be one-handed. Blender like an RTT. A real-time tactics game, like for example, Company Heroes, cannot be one-handed. Oh no no no! That would make too much sense to now make that make too much sense to shift to shift your to shift your ability to move the um, move the camera with the friggin' move the camera with the uh, uh, with the mouse button. You have to hit shift for crying out loud to actually move the camera. That's really that's not easy to understand because you gotta hit the keyboard. Nowhere on this screen can you actually, except we, ah, uh, hello, that switches the camera. No, that doesn't do it either. Yeah, there's nowhere on the screen that you can move the camera without having a keyboard plugged in. That's, I want to say it's stupid. It might not be possible otherwise, though. It might not be possible otherwise. I don't know what, I don't know what I were, I don't know how I would put it on the mouse, although I guess hold, I guess hold, hold. I guess hold uh, hold mo hold right mouse button. Oh, you know what we could also do? Hold left click. Hold left click and move the mouse and uh, move the camera around. But it, it's infinitely it's infinitely silly that you have to yeah you have to learn to hit the keyboard. And not only that, the, not only that, the shortcuts make no freaking sense. <laughs> they're not they're not like shortcuts. Good shortcuts in anything, whether it be Vegas, a video game, what have you. It's the first letter of the thing you're doing is the, is the key on the keyboard. Period. End of story. Make any make anything different than that. You're be, you're being you're making it more complicated than it should be. Another thing I could have done is just simply making the arrow keys or WASD. 
Of course, they will take away some shortcuts, but then you can hit shift, hit shift to alt, hit, hit shift or alt to get to those. So Blender has the has an issue with shortcuts. It, it takes over even basic functions. Shortcuts should never take over basic functions. Basic functions remain basic across all platforms. What the is move, period, end of story. You can't change my mind. But yeah, it's it's yeah yeah, and that's just I uh, it took me. I've had Blender on my I had Blender on Windows since I was I had Blender I have had Blender installed on one of my computers since I was like uh, probably before my twenties. Yet it took me that long until a year ago or two years ago now. Until 2020, actually, t until 2021, let's be honest, for me, look at my tutorial on freaking moving, on freaking moving the camera. It's Blender, it, it's not intuitive. It's to say the least, it's like Arma. Arma is not intuitive. It's as, as, um, as uh, the Rigging Dragon would say. It, it, it's not, as Red Dragon would say, Red Gaming Dragon, um, he used to do very soft stuff, but anyway, as he would say, it's jank. Blender is very jank. I mean, it is very jank because they split things up, like, for, for example, for example, if you want to change the property of something, you gotta click on this, uh, you have to actually click on something first. Click on this, and you actually go to different mode to click on the little 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 ghiblies. Click on the little ghiblies. Let's go over here. Let's try doing one handed. Physically, actually, we're getting close to that. Or, yeah, to click on the little nodes. Where am I? Where's my other cloud? Click on the little nodes. You need to be in. You need to be in edit mode. Object mode is to click on big things. Edit mode is to click on the big things, little things. It's. If this is what they had to do, I understand, but it doesn't, it's not, it's not intuitive. Anyone like telling you otherwise has never done, has never, has never used the editing program that's more intuitive or the things I mentioned before. And he ha has ever done anything but 3D art, but 3D art with Blender. Um, and, and also this is his revamp playlist that he just started doing, uh, apparently in Dece uh, December 2021. And let's update. Yeah, he started doing this. He started doing this at the very end of 2021. Uh, he, he started doing his revamp play. This is this is Blender Guru. He's really good. He does have a dumb. He does have a dumb opinion on how, on what you uh, on how you on how you should go about learning a uh, learning 3D art. He believes that all 3D artists need to learn photorealism and be masters of photorealism to do anything else, whether it be animating a Disney character. Or anything else in th anything else in CGI, you must learn photorealism first. No, you don't, because I did it and I made something nice. Hmm, uh, I don't like that opinion of his. And he does. And this, uh, he says in this one, he says in how to learn three days should be held on photorealism in four weeks. Photorealism, yes, you could using his curriculum, you could learn just the basics of render and board videos. Yes, yeah, yeah, the only the only four videos you need to learn to learn to learn Blender is this one, this one, this one, and this one went by its titles of his new videos, and that's basically, and that's also what and that's also what I learned from his uh, 2.0 playlist. But uh, my word, do not need no photorealism to learn Blender. Blender, do, do 3D art. If you want to do photorealistic 3D art, yes, you have to need to learn photorealism. If you want to do 3D art, you do not. I did it, and then I made this boy. I made this is, which let's continue. Uh, which let's do this. Let's do this. Let me show you my donut, which is the which is the 3D artist, not this guy, because he's he's been he's been he's been a pillar of community for a very very long time. Um, I can imagine well just show you this. Get over. There's nothing, and there's nothing I don't need to show you here. Do mini series. Now this thing, this boy, this is my donut. Uh, please let me know what you think of it in the comments, but this is my donut. 
and I'm proud of it. Uh, people like it. it. It's actually one of my most viewed and one of my most favorite things on my on my TV and art. So apparently it's good. Apparently it's real good. Um, and I only watched four of his videos. I, according to him, that's literally that. According to him, you need four weeks. I didn't. I I, I, I literally did this while watching four of his videos, more or less. I mean, I, I watched. I watched his videos a few, a few times beforehand and then watched it again when actually doing it. But I, I made this in three hours. Oh, and another thing, yeah, 3D art's slow. There's a reason why 3D art costs so much, that's actually when you do photorealism. We, that's the, there, there's a reason why photorealistic 3D art costs so much for movies. Um, because it's really, really slow and requires a lot of expertise. Uh, as you can tell by four weeks. <laughs> Just to do, just do a simple, just do a simple uh, donut, or just to do a simple forty, uh, to do something that could win a contest among among uh, among CG, among uh, among uh, CGI artists or three D artists or whatever four realistic four realistic artists. But regardless, yeah, uh, this took uh, this. Uh, this uh, this took like me uh, this took me like three hours more or less three six hours maybe nine something around there it took me a night it took me a night to finish this my pixel art my pixel art uh my my pixel art my pixel art my pixel art uh, how about chip my pixel art actually more standardized than that how about that my pixel art takes me to do a 45 by 45 not even 45 by 45 whatever it's around 45 by 45 pixel image or character when I have been at the character profile all set up it takes me about 30 minutes to do a unique piece of oh uh, no oh that's gonna be brown that's gonna be brown you I have too many thing I have too many tabs open and that's on the supercomputer uh, that I have uh do are like this no, uh, no, 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 Actually, I have a video on doing this. This is simple. Looks really nice, though. Uh, this is this is simple art, and it this is simple. Other more other bigger arts took me an hour, maybe yeah, not an hour while recording. And that took me like an hour of recording. Uh, this may take. This may have taken me. This may have taken took me taken me three. I had to do. I'm doing this one. I I redo this one every five months apparently, and it, and each and probably total. In total, it's not even the length of a blend. Maybe the length of one blender image. One blender thing. Is the total of this image, which as you can see, I've done this multiple times, or I haven't redone it. I just added to it because it's digital art and pixel art. But anyway, but Mister, but Mister First Battle Boy, uh, it took me three, six, nine hours. It took me an entire night to do. 3D art is slow. Don't expect it. To, don't expect anything else than that, unless you are a master of it. And you know you can learn it. You can go. Even though you can learn in four, in four, freaking, uh, in like 40, in like an hour, assuming you have Blender open and you're, and you're, and you're messing with it as he, as he, as he describe, as he, as he tutorializes you, uh, you can, you can, you can, have, you can have something done in three hours, from, from just oh, from the only experience you have with Blender is opening it up and being. Oh my word, what is going on on this screen to having a functioning thing done in about in about three hours. Now that's four weeks. I don't know why, I don't know where he came up with four weeks. I mean he, he describes he describes the, what you need to do by getting it for full realism to win a contest. And even then and he, he admits that you want to win a contest with this. But yeah. So so Blender is simultaneously easier and harder than what people than what people have than what people think it is at least in my experience me being a freaking prodigy uh, let me try to find you the video let 
but yeah. Oh, I saw someone. It's not someone that. Oh, hello. We can move that one and play so we can get to the video part. But, uh. Look at this guy. So, yeah, this is where we are. Uh, Style Station. Uh, Style Station made this video. And they, and they make, and they make very, up in the, as you can describe them after watching this, they make, they make opinion, they make opinion pieces, I want to say. Yeah, they make opinion pieces on how to, on, 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 on 3D art, stuff like that. Like, is Blender hard to learn? They say no, I say yes, it is hard to learn, but it's not, it's not, it's easy, but it's not time consuming to learn. Ah, that's the word. It's not time consuming to learn, like Mr. Donut here believes it is. Mainly because he wants he wants the world from you. Uh, in order to do it, but anyway. So, uh Yeah, so I made this. So let's actually turn on the colors. The reason why the reason why this exists wireframe mode, solids mode, simple rendering mode, and full-on motion computer mode, full-on render mode. The reason why they have this is because watch what happens when I move the camera, then I rotate the camera even. Oh, actually, let's click on this. Click on the center, click on the center. The, what the hacks? The center. Okay, what the hacks? Uh, whatever. This is what happens when I move the camera. See, that happens, and then it gets really slow. It's impossible to... It's impossible to really... Uh, to really work like this. And also, when you have... When you have... When you have... Even with my boss... Even with boss everything. Which is a Ryzen 9 950X and... And a... Uh, an RTX 3090 from MSI. It's... It's... It's not fast. And then you click on this, and then it's just bam, 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 bam. It's easy. And also, you can't see the elements because you can make these seem light for some reason. You can change these colors. I wish you could. But yeah. So, yeah, so there, there, there's that. Uh, let's go back to the thing. It's been 27 minutes. Or that's actually not bad. It's not bad. So yeah, I I uh, I as soon as I opened up Blender and made and made and started working on and started working on first battle my donut, I re I realized something that uh, if I if I can't animate 2D if I can't make pixel art fast enough or consistent enough to make a comic, uh, such as such as such as such actually actually. Oh, it's gonna be my computer, that's fine. I don't have enough room for this! Chrome based. Freaking canary. Uh, where is it? Oh boy, where'd it go? I still I even upload it. I may not have. Let's go all real quick. I'm not go about this. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't uploaded it. Yeah, uh, I was go. I, I did a stream uh, a year or two ago that I was making. Uh, that I was uh, a stream where I tried to make a comic book. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work at all. Uh, because I'm just not fast enough with... I'm not fast enough with pixel art. I mean, I'm pretty fast with pixel art. That's not the issue. The issue is, I'm not consistent enough with pixel art. If I don't... If... Uh, if I... Because how I make pixel art is very singular. When I, mean, I have an idea for something, I have an idea for something, I do it. If I can't do it because I'm not... Because I'm still early on in my pixel art career, career, or it's too complex for my brain to understand, then I stop doing it. 
There are some, there are some, there are some, like, well, well, for example, I can show you something that did come out, but came out way later than it did and was not in the form that it was originally, and that is this guy. This guy was going to be something different, but I realized I couldn't do that perspective because I suck at perspectives. As you can see, everything's either front on, uh... This is by far the best perspective shot, but then was going. Then again, I had a reference image for, uh, for a little A there. But as you can see, everything's front on more or less. Everything, everything's front on, top down. No, and this is my only really, um. Now this is my only really asymmetric image or isometric image. That's because I don't do angles well. I, I also did I also did some not straight on with these couches early on, and it's just it's hard. So everything that's isometric, I end up to laying or stop doing or anything. I have a funky angle with it straight on, top down, what have you. I I just don't do because it's just um it's hard. It's real hard. And it's real hard for my brain to comprehend how angles work. It's super easy with it's really easy with pixel art. I mean with a CGI, but with pixel art, I can't do it. So when I was trying to make the comic, I just I just I, I just couldn't make that many. I couldn't make the panels I wanted, and I couldn't make another the mirror petition at least for the stream. And I haven't touched that comic since the pixel art comic I wanted to do since. I could do comics and. CGI? I can do comics in this weird stop motion 2D, 3D animation, or 2.5D animation, or whatever it is. Because that's essentially how many frames I do anyway. Like, oh, oh, like, oh, like all this Durani is, all this Durani is, is a bunch, is 18 frames of... This could easily be a comic. I probably will make it. A, I probably will make it a comic. It's not that hard. I could even. I could even. I could even have these separate. They can even upload these separate ones and just do my normal. But it won't work because the text on screen. I, I'll make. I'll make this comic. I'll make this a comic. I will make this a comic. You have my word on that. I will make this a comic when I have this. When I have time. But um, yeah, all it is is 18 frames, and that's about it. I'll have to figure out how to do paneling and all that, but that's something I can figure out anyway. But I can essentially use, I can essentially use the animation to not only make stop motion animation, which apparently is what I'm making here, which apparently is what I'm making here. I can not only use this to make stop motion animation or very simple animation with with uh, CGI and uh, and 2D. To be fair, it's also CGI the 2D, but regardless. Well, yeah, it's just um, it's just one or the other. It's it's just purely CGI animation comics I can't do, and purely because it would just take too much, it takes so long because it took me long enough. It took me so long to just make, just make my super, just make my donut. It took me far too long to make my donut in my eyes, and my pixel art just not consistent enough to do it. Unless I I can't get pixel art done fast and consistently. If I do something stupid like with this, I I love this image. It's just I don't like how her shoulder came out. I don't like how my arms came out. I could do more. I can make this area more. I can make this area more like a shoulder. This is a weird retrograde, like a weird curved chest. That's weird. I definitely overcompensated for the fact that I look like a girl in this one, and. Uh, yeah, this is just not. Oh no! So they could use arm over here. Uh, yeah, don't be surprised if I come back to this one and make it better, like I have been doing with the other image. Like I've been doing with this guy. I, I like I don't I don't want. I guess you can easily replace the image. I just don't want to do that. Like I'm really proud of this one. This one this one is really nice. Uh, the arms are too simple. Uh, they don't uh, like. There's no thatch in this one. No, or not thatch. Tatch. There's no thatch. The uh, arm computer, or the there should be. You should have the black of the armor angles in the arms. But I think that's coming to my. Uh, I think that's coming to my art style. That it's 
kind of inconsistent, kind of simple, kind of minimalist sometimes. Prioritizes details in the wrong areas. Um, and that, that, that's kind of like my art style. Uh, it, it, it's, that, they don't, they don't look, none of these look bad. Like, none of these look bad to me, except with the parts that I can point out that look bad. Like for example, even in this one, I got the I got the pistol. Well, I got the pistol dialed and perfect. That looks exactly what it should be. Again, I'm just going off of a reference, but uh, but the, there's like this. I mean, there's like this uh, pattern weirdness there. This one's perfect. I want to change the thing about this one. Uh, I want to change the thing about this one either. This one, uh, luck is too thick. In the stomach area, like it, she looks like a she looks like a dwarf, a fantasy dwarf. This one's great. I could use the stars though, a little overpopulated. This one looks a bit over detailed, but that's fine. This one's fantastic too. I forget around clouds. I'm trying to duplicate in my art, in my in my journey, but uh, yeah, uh, apparently, uh, circles are hard in CGI, harder than pixel art. But pixel art is still in boxes. Weird. I guess in CGI you're doing the triangles, but that's beside the point. But uh, they work. They work in the final art. You saw, I gotta say, like they, they work well in this. I just need more of them to, to continue to go past the screen, or continue to go past the screen as your any progresses because like, you can see they're all gone in this one, and they're all gone by, they're all gone by the time you get in first person. I love the first person. Now the first person's awesome. I love it. it it's perf it has it has a stop motion feel, um, but it also has action. It has like a first person sh like a really simple first person shooter. Like you take a bunch of screenshots right next to each other, and that's how you came up with this. Like the first person is really really nice. I like the first person, and the first person is not even the first person too. It's it's actually uh, let's get to that. Uh, see the first person is separated but actually let's become late let's become action instead of laziness as you can see the camera's about this about that long because it, the lens is about that long because that makes it look nice uh the back end touching the touching the pints what these are called basically paper have the back end touching the paper so you don't see mineral paper and yeah, it just works really well have the gun have the have the light be way forward because of how the perspective works so you can have it in the screen so you can have it in the screen so it makes it look like it's uh, coming off of the gun it doesn't exist I could add, I could actually like, in shape there but yeah I, I, I have not figured out yet how you actually delete something and still have an animation I figured out that you can just tuck it underneath the terrain like like the like games do it and just put it away for I put it away until it's ready. But yeah, just uh, just glad it does work otherwise. And there's that camera. The cameras aren't visible, so you can have what so you can have them wherever. Uh, speaking of cameras, let's move on to our next one. But yeah, so this guy this guy did show me like I looked up how to like I looked up how to do this because I forgot I figured it out. <laughs> Cause I forgot I figured out how you actually have the have the people's plane. You need to like, well, you need uh, oh, dare talk. Uh, you need to download. You need to download a. You need to download a plugin in order for it to work. You know, you have to download a plugin in order for it to work. Skip that. You have to download a plugin in order for it to work, and that's fine. Not back to fine because it really messes up my tab when my video tab when you're off the volume but yeah and I'll like every I'll link all of this in the description if I can I probably will you make tutorials good good it's gonna be later uh but anyway 
So, so yeah, that, so this, yeah, this guy does the 2D, 3D thing too. Um, not the way I envision, not in the way I envision my stuff eventually turning out, and probably will be Green and Blue's thing in animation, where it turns, where it's more Doom-like, Doom, like the, uh, like the video game did in the first Doom, of Doom, Wolfenstein, Duke 3D, whatever. Like those, I check even Mario. Uh, Super Mario 64 and Zelda, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. That era, that era of 3D gaming. Sorry, you know, you know, the PC title to be Quake. Maybe Quake. Maybe Quake. But anyway. Like that era of 3D. Uh, 3D, uh, 3D rendering. We have 2D, you have 2D, you have 2D, 2D characters and 2D objects like trees and whatnot, but the, but the terrain is in 3D, because that's all they could have handled back then. Uh, and I want to have it with all the super ray tracing goodness and whatever, and make it really crisp and perfect, which this not is, this is not it. Uh, because look at that, there's, there's not perfectness, there is that, that's that I tell you. And that, there is dots. I might need to render this in 4K, but I really don't want to. I'll tell you that later when we get to that point in the video. But my word, there's dots. Uh, I mean, that's bad. That's any peaceful. But uh, my, it looks fine at a distance. Uh, but it does not look fine. You really take a second to look at the image because it has, it has those spots. That guy's a rash or something. I don't know what's causing it. It could be that I'm trying to reach for the moon, and Blender's not good at that. Blender's not a moonshot CGI program. Um, he barely has ray tracing. But yeah. Um, then I figured out how to do animation. Uh, which this guy shows you how to do animation by just moving the by just moving the camera. I didn't do that. Cause I didn't need to, but basically it involves it's these freaking arrow keys. Um, but basically it involves it involves well uh, it involves clicking on uh, it well mm, object and it's keyframes down here. How you install your keyframes is with I. Let's do this I. Then you hit available location whatever you need to. Do. I mostly hit available and link them together for the most part. Let's get rid of that. I don't want to touch this right now. You can accidentally save or something. And again, I'm not really gonna explain it because I'm gonna ex I'm explaining the major things that hang me up. But uh, eyes and porn. Again, you gotta use the keyboard. I don't know how to do it without the keyboard. Probably because you can't. Uh, or at least it's not as easy as the keyboard by pressing I. And Blender is another reason why you need a full keyboard and not just get ready with a laptop without a numpad. You need a numpad because numpad has other keys. Especially the especially having arrow keys and the thing about the arrow keys. The block about the arrow keys. But anyway. So once I learned animation, animation is that guy I learned multiple cameras. Multiple cameras are easy. Just put them in the middle of the just use marker. Just use marker and Put, and put them onto the and put them onto your timeline onto your what even call it is if it was a video if it was a video so if it was video if it was if it was oh turn that off right now. uh this is to this is to mimic that you use this to mimic where you're to mimic uh, you use this to auto fill in keyframes like take the sky move it it will follow it will it will Put in it will, it will it will map your inputs and put put it into the timeline so it does, so that it falls like that. I can use that to fill out my keyframes. I would need to move my keyframes a bit, make it less jank, less uh, less stop motiony and more doomy. Like look at like it's more obvious in this part when they're going around the when they're going around the hills trying to not shoot each other, <laughs> trying to take cover. Like. I could use the I could use the circle button I could use the circle button to map the in between of these guys. That's why different the clouds are so the clouds look so smooth back when they're so drank.
And the dialogue does have references to the channel's history. Like, you saw one. I notice how even even when actually let's go back here, let's go back here. See that that that's they they're those off that you can definitely see it in the water. I love, I love the look of the water. It's technically glass, not actually water, but it looks fantastic. But you see how you see how stop go stop go stop go I've been very much very much Lego stop motion animation or even if you mean or even uh, like people who do animation but. I'm more, but I'm more just sewing. But I'm more just sewing pictures together. Which, I mean, that's animation, movie, and movie, and movie, and movies in general, or video in general is just sewing pictures together. But besides that, I uh, like actually doing that, which is technically what this is, except it, it animated more in, in this. It's 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 really weird. Like you need like you, okay, you need to know your frame rate. Is it 24 or 60? Is it the snob? Is it the snobs? Twenty-four frames per second. Who? Is it? Is it the movie? Is it? Is it, is it the? Uh, is it the Hollywood snobs? Twenty-four frames per second, or is it the elite gamer sixty uh, and beyond uh, frames per second? If it's sixty, uh, that's gonna be difficult because you need a frame. You need a frame. Uh, oh, jeez. How do we do the math here? Like, for one second of footage, you need 60 frames. There you go. One second of footage, you need 60 frames. I have 18 I have 18 frames. If I, did, if I did that, then it would be a part of a second. It would be part of a second if, if, if I was running at 60 frames per second. 24 frames per second, it'll be under a second. It's just under a second. 18 frames per second, it'll be exactly 18. It'll be exactly one second of footage. In order to make it two minutes, I may I I wanted to do it two seconds, but uh Vegas doesn't like that. Uh Vegas doesn't like this minutia. Uh because it the timeline gets funky. Like it doesn't do like it doesn't tell you each second exactly. Oh, uh, once you get to the minutia of time, uh, minutia of time, it, it hates it. It, it, it. It's, it started, for, it started going like one minute, 28 seconds. It didn't tell you what the one minute was, uh, like, and stuff like that. Or like, or like two, two point five seconds instead of exactly two seconds. So yeah, that got real funky real quick. That's how, that's how I animated was up with. Magic Tech Vegas, because uh, Magic Tech owns Vegas and has owned Vegas for a long time now. Uh, it's no longer Sony Vegas, even though it's all, will always be Sony Vegas in our hearts, uh, but it's not anymore. And it arguably is better. Argu arguably is better. Arguably could be worse. Depends on, depends on if it's buggy for you or not. Which, fortunately, my version of my version of Pro has not been buggy for me. Which, which one is that? Yeah, I need. I, yeah, I just realized I need to add a lot more stuff to the description of that, or, or to the description of the Dear Annie, than just uh, than just obvious ones. Um, my pixel art program, my 3D art program, and stuff like that. But yeah. So this is actually really easy once, once you understand. Once you understand what buttons to press, Blender can get really easy if you understand what buttons to press. It's just understanding what buttons to press is just stupid. It's just understanding what button suppresses is just stupid. But going on, uh, but continuing. Also, I don't think Blender Guru does any animations for some reason. I just uh, he probably because of the most of his computer he ever, ever animated anything he makes. Uh, which he says, oh, he, if you want, oh, you need to learn photorism to get to make to make animation and to make good video games. Oh no, you do not. Oh no, you do not. Especially if you want to get an indie, you gotta learn photorealism if you're going to go into Dice or Infinity War or what have you, uh, Ubisoft. But uh, for the vast majority of the game industry, no, you don't need photorealism. And even then, and even then, you can't do what he does in his videos, what Blender Guru does in his videos, as normal video game assets. 
it will melt computers and it wouldn't run on most of the gamers' computers. Uh, yeah, it, it, he, he, the Blizzard Blue is kind of in his own world over there. Let's just keep him in his own world and just learn what we can learn from him when we need to learn from him. And let's not try to bug him very much. Um, but yeah, just, 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 nah, I just wanted to say the full realism stuff as just a fair warning to his content that it, it, he's, he wants you to do full realism as it would be like if he grabbed the camera and, and photographed something. Not a uh, not video game asset or really anything really other than that one niche of a niche of a that one niche in the 3D art in the CGI and 3D art scene. Because it is a niche. You don't see it that often. Uh, like even Battlefield has a even Battlefield even Battlefield 2042 or Battlefield 5. Or, lucky, let's be honest, Battlefield 4 and 3 have an art style to them that's separate from Call of Duty's art style of, the, of games from that similar year. Um, like, let's just say Modern Warfare. Like, they'll have video games of art styles to them even if they're going to full realism, they will never look the same. Unless you all got, unless everyone got supercomputers and had a program that made, that made perfectly accurate things because you can't because you wouldn't be able to take perfect photorealistic art and put it into a video game it would take two you would it will blow the budget it will blow the timeline of the, vid, of the video game development we'll see again done in three years how long does it take for him to make a single asset i don't know uh, but i'm pretty sure if he i'm pretty sure at his skill level if he made all the assets in a video game it would take too long and it wouldn't be able to run so yeah and I am saying video games because he does, he does say that in his in his uh, four week in his four week um, in his four week thing that you need to uh, in his four week thing that no you you can go video games out of this <laughs> no you can't no you can't you wouldn't you wouldn't deal with the work limits uh, but anyway like I work with skill limits I don't work with time limits. Like my my unlimited my the one thing I have that's unlimited is my t is my time. I don't really have deadlines unless I really want to do something at a certain time. Like my first book, I had a deadline of of September because I wanted to have September something in the the when I started that September September 2019 is when I wanted the book to be. Is when I wanted is well I wanted to be forever reckon. Uh, but I want it to be a forever thing with that book and forever start of the Dur story of the Durbers in reality timeline is that that because I wanted I really wanted that that was, that was my deadline period in the story there was little it was little delays and that's why the book is terribly edited because obviously it took me a couple of years to edit it myself because I suck at editing that much uh, I've been I've been going back and re-editing the book and oh my word did I miss everything. I thought I thought I thought it was mostly fine when I when I published it. I was wrong. I was so wrong. It is not fine how how badly edited it is. But um yeah, yeah. like my my main flaw with writing if my main flaw with writing is definitely editing. I'm not an editor. But anyway, because I I and even with fixer I always mix I always miss simple things. I haven't been doing it recently because I've been really paying attention, but I always miss simple things. And but with comments on YouTube, I miss simple things too. I think it's fine, and then I look at it after I post it, like, oh, I missed something. I only really, really, I only read, or I miss when it's like a like for it. I, I come back, I look at it, I'm like, oh, I missed something. i like, it doesn't like, it looks very, it looks very nonsensical. The comment, but then they will, they will up with it because they understand the meaning. It, you, it's, you, it's YouTube you comments and whatever. And it's not 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 gonna win you any uh, writing awards. But anyway, so yeah. Now on to now on to something that helped me with animation. Uh, friggin' Lario. No, Lario. Leonardo. This thing helped. All all Leonardo is it it, it is it's a virtual whiteboard, which. This guy, he mainly does pixel art and game development. Well, game development now, mostly pixel art. Uh, in his videos, he uses, uh, let me see if I can find one, which is the preview images. 
I want to say yes, that is it. I want to say yes, that's one. But yeah, this guy show, and this guy uses Leonardo every day for for his streams and his videos. And my word is it fantastic. You can import any image that you want. You can even probably, well, you can import any, any, any image you want, just like any 2D editor, and you can write on it very easily, as you can see. Like I have the roots of I can I have the roots of the uh, I have the roots of the characters. The uh, Captain Red starts here, goes up there, goes like this, goes like that, and then and ends right there. Gerd basically makes a circle, <laughs> and as you can see, as you can see, that's basically what happened. Okay, let's uh, let's do on pseudo. Let's do pseudo rendering. So we can see who's who. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, that's my name. I don't need that. And yeah, I I I, I don't I, I I can try to even fit in the Prince 1080p video, but that's uh, not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I might do it was. Um, I could also do, I I could also <laughs> if I didn't want to do pixel art for these, I could just do colors. I could just do Mr. I can just continue doing Mr. Uh, Mr. Donut Boy. Uh, Sour, blue, red, and then just have different colors of blue and red. I don't think I can put text on them. Maybe I can with Reese Pencil, which is the 2D program, and Blender if you want to do if you want to use Blender for 2D. Which good luck with that. Um, but it helps. And yeah. Also, anything else I wanted to go over? No, that's basically it. Like the clouds. Look at the clouds. Look at the fantastic clouds. We're very they look like chips, actually. They look like space chips. I made them go too far, I think. I mean, go too far too fast because they are automatic. But another thing I'm going to point out if you didn't see it already, but it's been bugging me, is the freaking sun. You can see the sun in the water and it's huge. This is, this is the sun. That's not like some water, that's not some water effect. That's the sun. Uh, because when I was trying to make this perfect lighting on the stage, make it look like daytime lighting, I uh, I uh, made this one big. I, I don't think I need it that big, but it'd be big. Uh, this is the sun. It's huge. Um, I need to work on that. So I'm there, there's probably going to be a 2.0 of this animation, maybe with more frames. Um, like like what's going to come next for this thing? Uh, if I don't, if I continue working on it, I probably will. Or at least do a two. At least do a version two eventually. I don't want to do something else. But uh, I will definitely, I'll definitely uh, animate the, I'll definitely add more, I'll definitely add more character animations instead of everyone just keep posing all the time. Those keep posing is easy for me. Uh, doing doing individual frames is hard. Uh, but, yeah, doing, uh, like, have them actually carry, like, actually have them carry their weapons, have a front have animations have animation or have different have different images when they're uh when they're having when they're having some action happen to them and stuff like that like general 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 game design general, general attention to detail also i do want to do a actual like i like a simulation like like uh like what would a what would a what would a uh, what would the ad arbitrium video game look like? Uh, well, a would probably use something like this because this is easy for me. But it would be something like this. It would be uh, t it would be a turn based. It would be a turn based. Uh, it would be a turn based tactical game. For the most part, uh, at least it will start that way. Then grow bigger with sequels and a uh, sit and then and then sun them all together. Make make them, and then make them all work together. So you only need one, uh, and then and then make uh, and then make a hub so they can all work together, similar to DCS World, except have DCS World be its own we had some game and have each game, um, essentially be, jeez. Oh, uh, 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 what, what was that? Actually, be right back. Be right back. And back. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, 8-Bit Armies is uh, the name of the game. Series that 
you basically get a few armies every single game, with a few maps every single game, and they all work together, uh, regardless of what game you have. I want that out of my out of the big project Rainbow will make eventually. Hopefully in my lifetime, but anyway. Um, and it would and it would probably have this kind of graphics because it looked nice. And, and well, at least what at least a at least the lead up to the big project. The big project I want it to best be out of a treatum. How I be treating is where it just everything into one game, just put everything into one game, and make it work. At least for at least for at least for the at least for um not the twenty four at least for the golden era under in the Thurverse. have it allow you to play every aspect shown in the Thurverse in a single in a single in, in well not in a single experience not necessarily a single game. But uh, yeah, that, that would be that. That's gonna take a lot more than what I have in me. It will require a team. It will require money. It will require things I don't have, which is a team of money. I have. I want to have a team. I have my sister and me, and Jax. But uh, it will require more than that. Require <laughs> a lot more than that. But anyway, I think we're coming to the end of the video an hour long. Oh, jeez, uh, the typical for their their other works. Uh, I have no idea we're gonna title this thing, but it's gonna be titled something. But yeah, I think that, I think that's I think we're gonna wear everything we need to go over. But yeah, that's how that's how during the number episode number one came to be, effectively. Um, and yeah, there's plenty more. Uh, will there not be more with this setup? Probably. Like I'll definitely need to. Uh, what I need to do next is open up the is open up and model the building better. The water's fine. The water water's fine. Uh, but the building I need to work on. I might need to work on having a better starting area because it's I, I need to resize everything probably. I cheated, but I how I cheated with the landscape. Well, let's, uh, let me show you just how how it works if you just leave rendering on. Uh, that, and then, and then, and then, and then, you you all center yourself. Yeah, I basically punched out these guys. I don't quite remember how I did it. I think I used cut or something. No, let me click on the map. And map edit mode. I think I used like uh, I don't know. I use I use bevel. I use bevel and pushed it out. Yeah, the characters are about two spaces wide. Yeah, that's a bit too big. Um, actually, let's take a ruler. Here's my ruler. Ruler. Let's take one. Uh, okay, let's go back to object. Oh, that's entirely too small. That is entirely too. Oh, I know. I I did. I didn't use the ruler before. I did not use the ruler before. That's what happened. Um, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Where's my ruler? Ruler. 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 Uh, oh, it doesn't exist. Oh, good. Don't die. Okay, be very careful, don't lay anything around it. Oh, there's the metal, ah, uh, metal. Uh, no, don't, don't do There we go. Oh, yeah. The clouds and the sun. Yeah, oh, one more thing. Oh, one more thing. Let me show you my rendering settings. My glorious, glorious rendering settings. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to render it as footage, though. I don't know how to render as footage, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. It worked out anyway. It worked out better this way. Let me go put you back in PNG. Give me all of everything. 
Compression. Oh, who needs that? Oh, that's. There's your problem. I did it the wrong direction. No compression with fast final output. I, that's weirdly worded. It, is it comp is, which one's compression? Uh, is because lossless means there's no compression. Oh, actually, lossless means there is compression. Uh, but it's not law. I I don't get that. I have no reason for that. Uh, yeah, I mean it's better than DCS. Yes. It's better that these tests now they were things, but it's not helpful at the time. Uh, the rest is stuff you don't need to really look at. The rest is the stuff. The rest is the stuff. The rest is just stuff. Uh, the rest is how things objects is how objects is the detail of the objects. And I'm really proud of my water. I'm really proud of my water. I like my cloud too. I like my cloud too. I like the water. Like it's simple, but it works. And then that I don't know how to you know. I don't know how to put into pictures while I'm back, one of the front one back. Might, you know, just have two flights and just put them together. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to work on that. But anyway, so those are my settings. It, you may be wondering, may be wondering, no, oh, this is what I really want to show you. All the, all the gloriness. The glory, glory, glory. You might be wondering how long did, how long it cycles, which is the best. I think it's the best experimental. Oh, yeah. GPU compute, yeah, it didn't really matter. It didn't phase. It didn't phase the didn't phase the 3090. It rendered my CPU though. I got I, throughout the entire rendering process, it took a hundred CPU percent according to good old good old good old. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's cheating. Use my other screens. Took a, a build task manager, and this is my this is my computer at not at rest because my is running. Uh, took about all my CPU, my thirty, my thirty, uh, my, my uh, where I was a nine nine fifty X. Took all of that, didn't do anything to memory, didn't do anything appreciable to memory. This is just with a billion tabs, uh, with a billion tabs open at forty percent memory, and that's basically all. Oh, you can have tabs open. GPU. Oh, that just GPU. Oh, that's um. Yeah, so GPU didn't actually fade it. Yeah, GPU. Yeah, rendering. Uh, 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 oh, I just I, I messed up. I, I messed up. I messed up somewhere. I messed up somewhere. You got weird. You got really weird. Yeah, be very careful. Yeah, cur crank cursor. Be crank cursor. Be murmur. 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 We'll be sorry. Uh, map got funky. Map got real funky real quick. I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to fix this. Huh. Ignoring exists? I don't hit save. Now, now what, now what it's like. Yeah, that better drop. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, uh, 40% of a 3090, that's like your 3070. <laughs> yeah, that's like your 3070, so, um... Yeah, don't try to ray trace or do anything fancy uh, with anything but like the a thirty eighty or above. <laughs> a thirty eighty will get you by real, real good, but uh, anything less than a thirty eighty, good luck with that. With ray tracing anyway, with, with cycles anyway. But yeah. But anyway, so yeah, uh, it was it all. Yeah, it actually, how you how Blender renders is actually pretty interesting. I'm not gonna show you because I'm not gonna be able to record it. I don't think. 
But how Blair renders is interesting because because it goes from the center of the image out. And it renders like a DVD or Blu-ray saves data. Or compresses data. Where it only renders what's actually different. So something like this. So those clouds really messed up my rendering speed. Because they were moving across the screen and whatnot. Oh jeez. No, it's not zero. Never mind. You can go. You, you can go lower than zero if you really need to. Um, sorry, guard. I'm hungry. Um, let's see how fast this renders. And see how see how much faster it's rendering when uh, uh, when. When you don't have clouds, and then we got light. No. See, that really, it really messes it up. Now, when I just spam it, as you can see, it does render some things fast, render something slowly. But that's not. This is not how it renders in in this V port or whatever it is. Um, it it renders like a DVD, and it renders from the center out. It renders damage from the center out. Damage being whatever the camera sees and as you can see when I have the camera and then I when I do this Move forward now I should switch to that camera See it's still fuzzy. I don't know how to get rid of the fuzziness I should switch back over to another camera because it looks awesome But yeah But yeah, that's uh, that that's pretty much it. I don't know how to go on. I don't know what more I need to put in this video, and it's already, oh, it's gonna be over an hour because I didn't check back on the timer. Um, my bad. Uh, but anyway, so that's how this was made, and yeah, it took me it took me an hour. It took me with boss everything an hour. And if you have a lesser computer, do stay a fact. If you, if you have a lesser computer than boss everything. Oh, <laughs> good luck! Rendering something like this. Um, it's mostly the ray tracing that really gets you. It's the ray tracing that gets you. Uh, I like having simple models, but really good lighting. That's how, that's how you get something that looks like this. I don't know how you did the freaking, uh, the freaking, uh, freaking, the freaking, freaking, uh, freaking. It might be, it might be, it might be, it might be this setting. Uh, let's go find rendering again. That's rendering. It might be. Um, it might be this. Under under each pixel, it might be that. To be honest, half tracing, ray tracing, RTX. Oh goodness, it might be that. I don't know though. I do like film grain on. Is that a thing? Uh, maybe. I don't like film grain. I, I gotta I got look at the things. But uh, this, uh, the, they never let your viewport be like what you actually render it as. You do have a boss computer or a feature computer. Like a, like, uh, like a, like a 40 or a 50, or an RTX 40, 50, 60, 90, whatever. Like, even in the future, I, I, whatever, I wouldn't let the viewport be the same as the actual render because it's not going to work. It's you're going to get not a lot of FPS. But anyway, by the way, that'd be the first video. Thanks for watching. Links in the description to everything. Oh boy, um, by the way, that'd be our first video links to watch, and if you should watch any other videos, let me know if you were to check out the rest of the stuff, and the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as various Facebook channel, which of course gets Facebook channels are watching, these videos get you contact and produce, and by sure your friends to list them. Alright, that'd be our first video. thanks for watching, and I guess... See you in a second.